Supplies I used for this project. Plexiglass from an Ikea frame. A photograph. My scribe. Rubber gloves. A black cardboard so I could see my etched image. Old newspaper, newsprint, or anything you could throw away after you use it. Relief ink from Caligo. An inking stump. A clean towel for blotting your wet paper. My printing paper soaking in water, or you can use a sprayer to wet it and blot it before you print. Paper towels. I use a large silver spoon to do hand pressing. And wipe ups. I'm going to make an etching of the screech owl and the first thing I'm going to need to do is to cut my plexiglass. This is plexiglass that was once the plexi that was an, um, an Ikea frame. I'm going to use the grid on my cutting board to measure for the cut. I'm going to cut it four by four. So let's see, four inches. One, two, three, four. Make sure it's good and straight. And how I cut this plexi is I score it and then snap. So here's a score. Here's the first cut. Find the best corner. This one looks pretty good. And then I'm going to cut another four inch piece. Because I'm using recycled plexi, I am checking to see which side has the least amount of scuffs on it. This side seems smoother, so I'm going to position it over my image that I'm going to etch and I'm going to tape it down. And what you do is you scratch everywhere that it's dark with your etching tool. You scratch, you crosshatch, and make little marks. And everywhere you scratch, it's going to become kind of gray. It's going to basically mask out what you just scratched. It's going to make the dark areas light. go ahead and do this and come back when I'm done. Now that I've gotten the basic shapes um, etched in, I'm going to move this to a dark board so I can see exactly what I have here. Okay. And this way I can go in and um, Add more details. So here's the image, and now you can really see it on the dark board. 
Now I'm ready to ink the plate. I'm going to use this stump to apply the ink. You only need a dab of the Caligo ink on the end of your stump to get started. I apply the ink in a circular motion. This pushes the ink into the scratches on your plate. Be sure to cover your etched image completely with ink. I form my newsprint into a ball to begin removing the excess ink. Once again, I use a twisting motion. This pushes the ink into the lines while removing ink from the surface. Reposition your paper to find clean sections and continue removing the ink. Use care when removing the ink over your etched area, using more pressure in the areas you want with less ink, such as the surrounding areas. I used a paper towel to clean the edges and the back of my plate. I use an open sheet of newsprint to give it one last pass before we go to print. Center your plate in your printing area and tape it down to prevent shifting while it's being pressed. Now it's time to blot your printing paper. Place your wet paper between the layers of a clean towel to remove the excess water. Your paper should be damp, but not shiny. Carefully center your damp paper over the plate. Cover with a piece of dry paper to prevent your print paper from shifting while you're pressing it. Use firm and even pressure to transfer your image to the printing paper. Use one hand to hold your print down to check your progress. After checking your print, apply heavy pressure or burnish the areas that haven't fully transferred. Carefully pull your print from the plate to reveal your image.